Hey guys, this is Quest for Vape, Daryl Shergan. I'm going to be doing a quick build on nickel wire on the Royal Hunter RDA. So I'll hold that up just in case you've never seen the Royal Hunter. It's a cutie, it's a flavor chaser. And I'm going to be using 26 gauge nickel NI200 wire to do that build on a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit. Okay, so here we have our NI200 nickel wire. Here's the Royal Hunter RDA, and let's get a close-up of that RDA just so you can see it. It's a very easy deck to build on in some ways because it's got that split center post, four-hole RDA, two positive holes, two negative holes. The difficulty here is the tiny post screws. They're very small. I really I stripped out a couple of these screws, so I tend to use this little blue screwdriver and this RDA is not for it's not for hot builds it's not for low sub ohm builds really it gets very hot if you build too low sub ohm it's not a cloud chaser it's a flavor chaser so I like to put more delicate flavor chasing builds and one of the reasons it gets hot is this top cap is metal and even though there's one of the other nice features about this it has a splash screen there which is nice but at the same time, this metal drip tip gets very hot. So I tend to build 0.5 ohms or higher on this and do just a flavor builds, very simple with 26 gauge canthal, maybe seven or eight wraps, something I really want to enjoy. Uh, very, very uh, complex flavors with. It's also, yeah, so those are the uh, pros and cons of this RDA. I'm using it for a nickel build because it is a flavor chasing addy and it just seemed appropriate. So without further ado, and I'm only going to do a single coil. It's all, it's all you really need for nickel. I'm going to be doing a 14 wrap. Pull this out kind of long. 14 wraps and this isn't the way you would build for canthal or high performance wire like anarchist or Satan wire, you wouldn't you wouldn't do the same type of build. You want these spaced and you don't you do not pulse them. You do not also you do not vape this. Ow, poke myself. You do not vape this on anything other than temperature control. Okay? So pretty easily this is a one eighth drill bit. Yeah I poke myself. I'm just gonna start out. Okay, holding this parallel clamp it with my thumb and here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, it's loose, it's ugly nothing fancy about this. Straighten these legs out a little bit. I'm not worried about having them touching because they're not supposed to touch. In fact, they've got to have a gap and all we're going to do now that we've got it wrapped, I'm just going to squeeze them together and then let them spring apart. And that's it. That's really it. Okay, you could do if you want to do a little neater of a job. Here we go. There's my one eighth screwdriver. But all I really care about is that I pinch them all together and then I let them spring apart. See the gaps? That's all we need. Again, you don't pulse these. There aren't going to be any hot spots because there's no metal touching. In fact, that's one of the most important parts about this, is that they are spaced. I have screwed this build up many times before I really knew what I was doing. And I still wouldn't say I know what I'm doing. But I figured out better than I, better than I was doing. Uh, Rip Tripper actually has a really good video from about eight, nine months ago. 
when he was using the Hanna 40, and uh, and that actually was the most educational video that I found. So after you watch this, go watch Rip Tripper. Once I get them screwed down, then I'm going to make sure they're spaced out. You don't pulse these coils. You don't fire them up. You just wick it and then you vape it. That's all with temperature control. It's a very soft metal. Be real gentle when you're tightening these down. You will snap these if you're not careful. And you do have to make sure that these screws are tight, that that wire, those legs, are clamped down tight into that RDA. They can't be loose. There can't be a bad connection. Otherwise, the temperature control device will not read this. So you definitely want to check and make sure if you got it right. Be patient with this. Yep. So I could tell this is how you see when I wiggle this leg and I could see the coil move. I know I didn't have it down right. Walk that fine line, but don't cross it. All right. I'll pause the video, and I'll wick it, and I'll vape it. Okay, so I have gotten this RDA built with the nickel coil. As you can see, it's a .19 resistance. Uh, you want to be, that's a little high. You want to be closer to .1, but I'll take it. And uh, what I'm going to vape it on can vape all the way up to 1 ohm, so this is still going to be fine. And, uh, and I'm not messing with it. It took me, it was, a, it was hard enough to just get this build without snapping the wires while uh, tightening them down. And, you know, so that's, that's basically what the build looks like. Now let me, let me wick on it and vape it and show you how it does. Well, I've been waiting so wicking, I've been I'm so going to use time. organic Japanese yeah. cotton. I'm just going to cut a loose strip slightly wider than the diameter of the coil. I know, but that's what I'm saying. You don't need much. You don't need to pack it tightly. Leave it on the looser side. And again, these coils are all spaced. I used my dental pick tool to make sure that there was a gap and a space between them all. It's very important. These coils do not get pulsed. Just be real gentle. This is the tough part. This stuff is very, very soft. It moves very easily. I'm not looking to fill the whole juice well. I just want to tuck this down. Now that it's wicked, I'm still going to play around with it a little bit and just make sure all of these coils are spaced. See? They don't have to be spaced very far, but they can't be touching. Alright, so maybe one then. Even just pulling that cotton through moves that coil, okay. ends that you, wire. We can put two tables very there. soft. Okay, so that's all.
Now that it's been wicked and juiced, it's foaming out 0.18 and actually went down. Well, I am vaping on the Simayu 60 watt temperature control box mod, which I will be reviewing right after this. And that's why I did this build. So I could do a tank nickel coil vape and an RDA build nickel coil for a comparison. And we have one, two, three, four, five. How cute that is. And I'm going to put it in. Okay, I set it for a temperature control max at 520 degrees. And it's, as you can see, warming vapor very nicely. Very nicely. Make sure I have enough juice on here. This is not a Cloud Chasers build. This is not a Cloud Chasers concept. This is strictly flavor chasing. It's a very cool vape. Um, very tasty. I happen to be vaping on JC Vapes, Mr. JC Vapes coffee cake, and it is pulling out all these flavors that I usually don't taste. Like some vanillas and, and toffees, like that cinnamon that's so light, and the cake, a pastry flavor. It really is bringing out all those flavor notes that I normally wouldn't be tasting and wouldn't notice. Um, so it is pleasant. It's not my favorite thing. I like high wattage. I like cloud chasing. But that's a yummy vape. It's worth the effort if you're a patient person and you want to play around. That's how you do a proper build. I'll show you that coil again. That's all you need. And the, the other benefit of, you know what, I'm going to close down one of these, uh, just single coil mode. You'll never burn your cotton, that's for sure. That wasn't really a problem for me anyway, but it's nice to know. Temperature control will protect your cotton from getting burned. And also, one battery in here lasts like three days. So it's not using a lot of power to give a nice vape, a flavorful vape. What happens when it starts running dry? It'll back, it'll back down on, on power. It'll just, and now the flavor's going away. So I can tell it's dry, but it's not burning. And yeah, that cotton is looking a little dry. So that's the deal with temperature control. If you watch that Rip Tripper video, he hits that thing like 20 times in a row and it's just not burning. It starts to lose its flavor because it's got nothing to really vaporize at that point but water vapor. But you sit there and chain hit it and you'll never you'll never burn your wick. Which is nice. So give me one more vape and then I'll say goodbye. That actually is the right build for this RDA because this drip tip barely even got warm.